Ladies and Badger Moles, welcome back to the series. This is episode 7 of our No Man's Land Extra Hard series, where we started half a million dollars in debt, and since then have just been struggling. Here's what we know. We know that my tractor went from 14 kilowatt hours to 18, and it's probably because I ran out of money while it was trying to charge. Um, that's my guess, but I just don't know. Like, I just don't know at all. Like, am I supposed to, like, hook this bad boy up? Or... I, I don't know. I hope I don't need, like, a charging cable, because that would be mildly unfortunate. But here is the plan. I spent some time between now and the end of the last episode. We got ourselves some silage. I cut, uh, basically, I don't think I did any passes before. So I cut this entire lower area. Uh, nothing on the hill here. The hill is uh, pre-existing. and But now we are $1,000 in debt. We are severely broke, I uh, do say. But we have the means to make some money. We are lined up to be highly successful here. Uh, just in the fact that we've got some silage ready to go. So with no further ado, we are going to hook on... Uh, we're gonna run and, like, get all the silage stuff sold off, and, I don't know, from there we'll probably just have to just see what's going on, you know? So, we'll, uh, we'll get that done, and I will, uh, I don't know, I'll probably see you at the, the selly place thing, where we sell our silage and make the bands. I'll see you over there. Bam! Back at the selling place for sale number one. Let us see total value here. Oh, dang. Sometimes you gotta hit them with that dab there, you know, make sure they're actually paying attention. A $3,000 trailer. Uh, jump cut. $2,887 there. We have another $2,887. Another $2,887. And the silage is officially sold 972 more dollars brings our total brings our total in sales this month to twelve thousand five hundred and twenty one dollars that is awesome that is awesome we are no longer in debt we still have a tractor that it is unfortunate that the charge is so low i don't know what to do but like i think we're just gonna have to leave it there charging while we come up with some other way to move our stuff around granted we've got eleven thousand dollars available to us I, I mean we could tow stuff with a hundred ninety thousand dollar combine now that i think of it why didn't i think of that before it's so easy it's, it's the answer we've been waiting for it's right in front of us it's perfect so um tell you what we're just going to uh leverage ourselves at the bank and uh we're gonna afford a hundred ninety thousand dollar combine what do you think Ladies and gentlemen, as it turns out, the bank did not like that idea. So instead, uh, we're just going to do what we can do. Uh, leave the pickup down. We're gonna slurp up some of this chaff here, because uh, we got some of that sitting around. We might be able to sell this to offset uh, potential moving the month forward ahead cost. I mean, there's this is decent money sitting here, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie at all. It's pretty baller, actually. This is nice. It's nice. Uh, leaving my mower right there, not nice. Who would do such a thing? Uh, I'm gonna need to fire that guy. I'm gonna have to fire. But yeah, no, we're just kind of we're big chilling here. Let's get the rest of our. Oh, I should charge it every time I drive by. <laughs> Gotta get that. You know, half of a half of a half of a percent for the one second it's gonna be charging, but it might add up. It might add up to be a very large number. Very large number. Let me add. Let us finish this up here. It's, I mean, that's pretty good. We're going to have some spillage no matter what we do anyways. Bunker silo's empty. Hurrah! That is how we do it. Uh, with that empty, let's just dump this chaff in there. This should be approximately $1,500. So it will pay for the fact that when we move ahead a month, it should not... Like, it should offset the cost of us moving ahead a month. So that's pretty baller. But yeah, no, so we're going to find ourselves something fun, interesting, and malarkey-ish to do. Because we need to make some big, fat bands this 
this episode. We've been broke for so long. We have to figure out how to charge the tractor to full. Uh, we've, we've got some stuff to figure out this episode. So let's see what we're going to do. I have done the thing. We have bees. Bees knees. Bees don't have knees. I have knees. Do I have bees? No, I don't. Oh, wait. I do. Ladies and gentlemen, we have purchased bees. And with our beeves, we have uh, placed ourselves a spot for the honey to come. But what I'm hoping is someday we use this and we use that one over there somewhere. Where we're, there, over there. We will produce a, a very nice field on the lower part down here. And what we'll do is we're going to increase our grass yield with the bees. Big money. You just have to trust me on that one. Um, the tractor has not gone up at all in terms of kilowatt hour this thing is the color it's very nice but it doesn't say it's charging and that's kind of unfortunate you know you hit higher ai worker it's like i don't know what we're doing done uh, i don't want to like start to, maybe you have to have the engine running to charge that would be kind of counterintuitive though wouldn't it to run the motor to charge that can't be it turn it off it can't be it turn it off i need to leave this thing alone i need to leave it alone We've got $2,400. And with our $2,400, we cannot afford anything. Maybe like a skateboard. A skateboard would be sick. A wheelbarrow. We could we could wheelbarrow stuff. I don't see how we're going to find our way out of this. Uh, we just kind of have to wait and let this thing charge, I guess. Truth be told, it has been a bit, but here we are. We're back. I figured out how to get my tractor to charge. It was a really interesting deal with frame rate. Uh, but in general, got it figured out. Um, during a live stream so we stockpiled ourselves a little bit of silage uh not silage chaff that's the word so i figured if we're gonna make some money we need to step up our game so what we're gonna do we're going to take off the lawnmower throw the leveler on the front we're gonna throw the roller on the back and we are going to start getting this all compacted down it's going to open up the opportunity for us to uh, actually do something interesting today instead of the typical malarkey that we're up to. So I am going to get this all taken care of. We're going to sell some more money or sell some more silage, I guess we should say. And really what it's going to enable us to do is hopefully we can start considering like just the money we're going to need to save up in order to get like our sheep you know start that process so we're going to get this all compacted down get it covered up i don't know we can actually start making some money we're one month in the future we incurred another 1600 dollars in our total expenses here but i've got great news okay i've got great news for all of us we have approximately eight thousand six hundred dollars worth of silage uh, just sitting in the pit not including this one so we got about uh, eleven thousand dollars worth so we should be at approximately ten thousand dollars by the time we have this sold off which if i hit the grind really hard we should be able to be able to per, like afford sheep before the winter hits heavy so i'm going to take a minute i'm going to sell all of our silage i'll be back with a total number of the money we made from selling it and then we can go from there Hey everybody, we made about $12,866 from that sale of silage, but unfortunately my audio was completely scuffed and I'm not putting you guys through that again. Episode one was already garbage. Um, so I just want to do a quick recap of what we did at the end of the episode so we don't lose any like true information. So we sold our silage, we headed back to the farm, and then really all we did was talk about our general strategy. And that is going to be that we're going to heavily pursue sheep um, and try to get them done and in before the winter so that we can get some grass stockpiled up and in and hopefully try to make some money during the winter months. We realize that we're not going to make that much money uh, just right away, but we're hoping to start getting our sheep to mature so we can get some breeding starting at least by the summer of the next year. I also mentioned that we're going to be doing live streams between some of these episodes to help break down the grind because truthfully, you guys have seen enough of that. We need to start getting into some money points. If you guys do want to see the grind, I will stream them live uh, so you can go ahead and sneak back, watch the VODs from it. 
Um, but really, all we're doing is we're trying to kind of speed up the pacing of the episodes a little bit. Uh, so unfortunately, we did lose like five minutes of this episode, which would have made it about like a 15 minute or, or so. Uh, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, like, subscribe, come check me out sometime. I can be friendly if you want me to be. I don't know. Uh, but take care. Thanks, guys.